Yo, 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 YouTube, YouTube, all right, there we go. What is up? I'm not stealthy bro here, and we're going over the electric state to winter update. Um, I think a lot of people wanted this and kind of spoiled it a little bit, but um, yeah, uh, they got a new update and it's pretty pog, you're not gonna lie, but uh, there is a little bit of a confusing aspect to it, so I felt like I should make a video, and there was two crates that were actually released which kind of surprised me um, I know that one of my friends had um, had gotten a sneak peek at it because he knows the devs a lot and stuff he makes great builds um, I shouted him out on my discord server if you want to know uh, who he is but uh, yeah um, today we're gonna be talking about the update Maybe you saw those ravens right there, maybe you didn't, but um, the game just got a whole lot more crazier with this. So, let's begin. First, I need to show you the crates. So, the frostbite crates are pretty self-explanatory. Use Azurus to um, buy them, and you can get all of these weapons and stuff, and the cane or whatever that we thought was going to be in the game before is actually a new melee weapon that is a knife and um they also added the uh raven neon sign which is one that wasn't in the document i showed but um looks cool let's see the cabin winter and nordic house if you're gonna go for one go for a cabin winter because it has a lot more space in it um the Nordic house however I saw that it has like a little ramp going up to a upper floor section that's kind of small but still very cool so might have seen her do it there I'm gonna watch her do it again this knife basically allows you to uh, teleport anywhere and I'm gonna zoom out of that there you go I was gonna tell her to do that anyways but as you see, it's like a six tick knife. I think it takes like six stabs from what I saw. I might uh, correct myself if I replay it, but um, basically what the knife allows you to do is teleport from a, to a certain distance. And it's really cool. It has like that cool raven effect around it, as you see right there. And they fly up in the sky. And then boom right there I don't know if it has like a very like close or far range but from what I've seen as you can see like there there that's pretty um, that's pretty long but yeah there you go you see her teleport and uh, it's pretty cool because I'm pretty sure you're able to teleport from like right here to here is how far it'd be and even if that's a really far range I don't know if you just have to like wave your knife in a certain direction and it teleports you there or if you actually have to like click on a certain spot but um yeah it is really really overpowered in my opinion and I mean I think it's gonna be a fun one we're gonna see how it is I don't know if it's gonna be too overpowered or not but uh, we'll see. And I love that they're taking the effort to still update this game and stuff because, I mean, it's a very good game. I love it. So, this was the confusing aspect because you have to now, uh, for the second crate, which doesn't give you too much. It gives you a little bit of um, decorations you can put up in your building or whatever, but... It also gives you a permanent snow mitten, which is another melee weapon. I don't know how much damage it does, but basically the only way to get these crates is by looting presents from this tree. And the only way you loot presents from this tree is by waiting 20 minutes or if you're or if you haven't searched one yet, then you should immediately be able to see one. But it's kind of like how crates work that's why all of these people are standing here because um once like if you both have it to where your cooldown has like finished and you can both see the present like let's say there's one present here and you both can see it only one of you can get it it's not like a client side thing so um it's 
probably a really it's kind of annoying but I if I really wanted to I could do this and like you know I could get like the rest of the crates I need in like 30 minutes or so there isn't too many items to this I don't believe the snow mitten is that powerful from what I've seen it takes a lot of hits to actually kill someone same with the knife but as I said with the knife you can teleport with a uh, the ravens surrounding you as you saw now it is time to uh show you how the new gun works called the g36 so i actually bought this off of somebody because um i kind of wanted to see how fast it fired and my theory was right it's like a famas but mixed with an smg i don't know what type of gun that would be let me put my corn up for sale real quick so anyways the thing about this one is that it has really bad like recoil per se because even though it kind of sprayed in that location it shakes the screen a lot and stuff and can miss like how it just moved my cursor over there um i don't know how much damage it does i can test that real quick all right so i just looked on the discord and apparently, um, I don't know if there's any left or or if it's because I claimed it already that it isn't spawning, but apparently uh, the crates around the map will also give you the presence, aka the holiday crate, which is really cool in my opinion. And just to put that out there, only 21 days left to get this crate, so barely have any time in my opinion but hey it is a limited time one you gotta put a limit on it at some point so um yeah make sure to get as many crates as you can to try and unlock that knife before it goes away and you're not gonna be able to get it again so um here you go right here yeah they're throwing snowballs i don't know how much damage it does but it's pretty cool uh not gonna lie but yeah, no, I'm just laughing because this is like the most epic collab. Like you got the I'm not stealthy bro building right there. And then you have the, uh, one of the devs of the game right here. And the other one, I don't know where he went, but <laughs> yeah, ultimate crossover. Oh, okay, nice. Thanks. So now he's told us that, um, I would say it's a pretty good gun. I mean, 26 with that fast of a fire rate, I feel like this is probably going to be one of the new go-to items. I mean, I didn't really want to kill someone, that's why I wanted to uh, save it, because I didn't I wouldn't want to lose this, because I paid like 7000 for this, and I don't even know the original price of how much the crate is, but um, yeah, there you go, it does 26 damage per bullet. And uh, yeah, that's pretty pog. So if you enjoyed this video, found it helpful, leave a like and uh, share it with some other people that haven't seen me before. Why not? You know, you know give me a little Christmas present of uh, a subscriber. So um, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. This is a pretty pog update, not going to lie. Wish I was able to show you the buildings, but trust me, they look cool on the inside cabin winter is definitely bigger though and peace out